Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about capacitance of a power applied capacitor. Previous video, we already discussed what is power applied capacitor. Okay, capacitance means what? It is the ability of a capacitor to store the charge. Capacitance C is equal to Q by V. Okay, that is we already discussed it in the capacitor introduction part. Okay. So now we are going to find out the capacitance of a power applied capacitor. Okay. So you see that we have to assume it as a power applied capacitor. Okay. So we are going to consider as a power applied capacitor. This is a power applied one power applied and this is the another power applied capacitor means two parallel plates separated by a small distance okay so we are going to consider the plate area is how much plate area a area a and distance between the plate d is the distance between the plate D is the distance between the plate. Okay, so this is the distance between them that is to be D and the plate area is to be A. Okay, this is the conductor 1 and this is the conductor 2. Clear? Okay, so what is the charges to be? In this charge, that is a positive charges are there. So how much charge? We are going to assume here is to be plus Q charge. There is an equal amount of charges to be negative charges are accumulated here also okay that is a right negative charge. that is minus q clear okay when it is to be connected to a external circle okay clear okay then now we are going to find out the capacitance capacitance is equal to q by v okay so we need to find out the capacitance we want to know what is the potential difference between this plate v is the potential difference between the plate so for that i am going to find out what is the electric field okay so here there is a region region 1 and there is a region 2 and there is a region in between the plate so what is the electric field between these uh, three region we are going to find out okay so this is to be we are going to consider as a plain sheet okay so net electric field electric field in the region one region one okay so here in the region these positive charges this positive charges will produce an electric field in which direction that electric field is in which direction all of them so you can see that if q is the amount of charge store uh, amount of charge in this plate and the plate area is a so the surface charge density of this plate is how much okay first plate the surface charge density what is the surface charge density the surface charge density of the first plate is sigma so plus sigma and minus sigma are the surface charge density of the plate what is sigma charge per unit area that is q by a okay if it is plus sigma plus q by a and minus sigma minus q by a that is about the surface charge density clear so what is the electric field for it is a plain sheet plain sheet electric field is in which direction so you can see that if this positive plate there is an electric field is there 
this plane sheet will produce an electric field E plus E is in this direction. So this minus charge plate will produce an electric field is in which direction? That is coming towards it. That is in the same direction. What about E minus and E plus? Okay. So we can say that net electric field in the region 1. So that is E1. We will be say that e plus e minus what is e plus e plus is the electric field produced by this plate that we can we if you will consider as a plane sheet electric field produced by a plane sheet we already discussed in the first chapter that is sigma by 2 epsilon so what you will get here here e minus is the electric field produced by negative plate that is sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So what you will get? Minus minus become 0. That is the net electric field at the region 1. Next we are going to find out net electric field at the region 2. Field in the region 2. That is the second region. In the second region, this positive charges will produce an electric field is in the which direction? That is E plus is in this direction. And what about the electric field produced by this negative charge? That is in this direction. That is E minus toward this negative plate. Okay, so you can see that E2. E2 is equal to what you will get? E minus, sorry, E plus E minus. So what is E plus? That is electric field produced by this plane sheet that is sigma by 2 epsilon naught plus sigma by 2 epsilon naught. So this is a minus sign. So net electric field at the sec field outside the region of the second plate is to be zero clear now we are going to find out the net electric field in between the plate now we are going to find out net electric field between the plate of the capacitor that means this region so here you see that the electric field produced by the positive positive plates are is in which direction that is e plus is in this direction what about e minus you can take it as e plus what about e minus E minus also in the same direction coming towards the native plus electric field produced by a native plate. Native plate is coming towards it. So in between the net electric field between the plate e is equal to sigma by two epsilon zero. That is the electric field produced by this positive plate plus sigma by two epsilon zero. Why it is to be I am taken as here plus sign itself here because electric field produced by this plate are in this direction in the same direction electric field produced by the native plate. So half sigma by epsilon 0 plus half sigma by epsilon 0 you can say that full that means sigma by epsilon 0. That is a net electric field between the plate. So there is an electric field is there. Okay this is the electric field. In this electric field, the electrostatic energy is to be stored in the capacitor. Okay, due to this attraction of this net electric field, the charges are to be hold between the plate. Okay, now we need we are going to find out what is the potential difference between the plate. So we know a relation. Potential difference is equal to Potential here we need to find out potential difference between this plate is equal to what the electric field in between the region into the distance between the that two points. So I am going to this V is the electric potential difference between this and this point. So the electric field in this in between the region into the distance between them. So we can write a E into the distance between them is D. That is a potential difference between the plate. Okay. What is E value? That is sigma by epsilon naught. 
into d that is v okay then what is sigma sigma is q by a q by a epsilon 0 into t that is v then what is the formula for the capacitance of the capacitor capacitance of the capacitor that is c is equal to q by v okay so we will you will substitute the v value here q into d divided by a epsilon naught so what are the things we can cancel it here so here we can cancel the q and q a epsilon 0 will go to the top so we can say that a epsilon 0 a by d that is a capacitor so capacitance of a power applied capacitor if the in between the region is filled with air the capacitance is epsilon 0 a by d okay so you can see that what are the factors depend upon the capacitance of a power applied capacitor it is depend upon epsilon 0 what is epsilon 0 epsilon 0 is a called as permittivity of free space that is a factor depend upon the material of the medium and a is the plate area that is the size of the and the shape of the conductor it is dependent and d is the distance between them okay this is about the capacitance of the parallel capacitor thank you for watching the video please subscribe my channel if you like this video please put like